Hi guys, this is Matty Ace, and uh, many of you guys are asking me throughout my streams what I'm hoping for in an upcoming Battlefield title. And uh, well, one of those answers is that uh, I am starting to side more and more with those people that are hoping for a Bad Company 3. Uh, Bad Company 2 was one of the first, probably the first Battlefield I ever actually got into. It's not really part of the Battlefield franchise. I also get a lot of questions about what time era, if there is a certain conflict, uh, historical conflict, that I would like to see a battlefield being uh, based around. Um, I have a really hard time answering a lot of these questions, however, when it comes to one small detail that I've seen being changed uh, after Battlefield 1, and that is kit switching, which is something that I hope DICE will bring back again to what it is in Battlefield 1 and what has been in many other Battlefield titles, including Battlefield Bad Company 2. So now, whenever you pick up another person's kit, you will pick up whatever that person had when he died, in terms of what weapon, in terms of how many bullets, and in terms of what gadgets. Also, of course, the class. At the same time, when you do this, you leave your kit behind, and you leave behind whatever you spawned in with, minus whatever you have already consumed in terms of bullets and gadgets. So now, in later titles, kit switching hasn't completely been removed. Instead, they've changed what you actually pick up if you do pick up a kit. For example, you uh, many times only get the weapon, but you don't change class or your gadgets. Now, I'll be honest to say that I haven't kept up with every little detail about how this works in Battlefield 5 or Battlefield 2042 because I simply am not interested in these games anymore. They are, you know, far more part of the past than Battlefield 1, despite them being newer. That is, for me, of course, I'm not trying to be condescending towards you if you have a different opinion. So now, one of the things that I found very interesting when I had discussions about this uh, during the time when, uh, I believe, when Battlefield 5 was relatively new, is uh, the kind of arguments that were used by those people that were against the system we see here in Battlefield 1 and that preferred a new and a different system, similar to or maybe identical to what we have in Battlefield 5 and... Uh, the arguments they used was a variety of differently articulated arguments explaining that they really didn't benefit from uh, picking up kits. They thought it was uh, tedious, they thought it was annoying, they said it uh, had a lot of drawbacks. They didn't like to do it themselves, and that was their reason for denying others a, to some of us, a very interesting, strategically beneficial sometimes, but also very, very risky strategy that in some cases can be very, very useful. Oh yeah, and check out the mind kids there, speaking of kid switching. Yeah, again, some of us, we benefit from, uh, well, sometimes we benefit from kid switching. We, uh, some of us also find this one of the ways that we discover new playstyles and uh, new weapons, new gadgets. And one of the things that I discovered with kit switching when it comes to something that makes Battlefield very unique, and that is the epicness of this game, is that when you're having a really good moment, if you're having a good kill streak, if you're having some of these really cool, uh, cool looking uh, situations, if you are able to kit switch, in that situation when you're running out of gadgets and weapons or if you need to heal yourself then that makes an already really really epic moment so much better and that's one of the reasons why battlefield is the kind of unique game it is the epic moments that if we can get more epicness if we can get more variety if we can show more of why we keep playing this game and why this game is worth playing much longer than most other titles that normally gets tedious and repetitive with a game such as battlefield 1 there's always something new and unexpected that happens and kit switching is a small part of that in my opinion now my question to you and i hope you will take your time and answer this in the comment section is it a valid reason to deny kit switching just because you yourself don't like it or because you yourself don't benefit from it? So here I picked up the Fyodorov from the Medic class, healing Modi as he has the Elite class, and then I realized that this Medic was probably trying to heal Modi in the same squad. I can't really tell, but it, it seems very likely. It was his kit I picked up, and uh, now I'm the one who has to heal Modi here for a while, 
And I actually had to rewind and check back in the kill feed, but it turns out that Juste was very recently killed by an automatico, and then he spawned in back again as a medic, as you will see right... Yeah, that's the medic right there, that you see his name. Uh, so, uh, apparently, he is uh, trying to keep Modi alive, and uh, I believe that this confirms that they were in the same squad. And what this, what I want to try to highlight here is that even if you are not one of these experienced players, like these two players, or whether or not you agree with me or disagree with me about kit switching, it could be you the next time that has an elite kit or that needs healing or needs resupply, and it could be the next person, like myself, picking it up and resupplying or healing you, and you may not even notice it. So, moving on. Here we have a different situation. I was just killed by a uh, artillery truck and going back to opinions and changes and balance issues and all, all these things. I know people don't like kit switching, obviously, but uh, if there are actual real arguments for changes in any game, then what DICE should be listening to is the community and if something is so severely imbalanced and so severely detrimental to the game or so uh, bad for the overall gameplay that some communities actually ban it from their servers like for example the SMG-8 uh, mortar uh, or some mortars and um, for example the mermets that are banned on several servers when it goes that far that some communities actually ban a weapon or a feature or a vehicle and unfortunately in my experience DICE are a little bit slow at uh, fixing these problems and I'm sure you guys remember how the Model 10A Hunter was uh, somewhat overpowered in the early stages of Battlefield 1 this despite the fact that we already knew about the problems with shotguns in previous titles now hopefully we in the community will have some say in what direction the next battlefield will take. I'm sure we're all hoping that it will be a tremendous live service as it so accurately have been described, even though the two latest games in the franchise has left a lot of people somewhat doubtful. Me, I'm going to continue to try to showcase what makes Battlefield the game that we continuously keep playing in my daily streams and my somewhat daily videos that I upload on my two different gaming channels. And yes, I do live stream on my main channel. A link to that channel is in the description. So, hope you will enjoy the rest of the video. Uh, I'm looking forward to your feedback. Let me know what you think. Big thanks for watching. And now, we'll continue with more Battlefield 1 epicness. Objective Charlie. Can we mount up? Görüldü. Düşman tankı. Tahrim cephaneleri yerleştirildi. We have lost objective Edward. I can hit it, but I can't hit a plane. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, sorry. 
Oh yeah. Oh, they bombed that tank there, mate. You should be. Ah. Get another hit on him, I can. You got uh, a rear gunner or something? Nah, he. Uh, I killed two of his uh, gunners, but the third guy killed me. Sabled? Watch out, the plane behind you. I'm spawning in, I'm spawning in. Fly away. Nice. Hey, 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 hey. 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 Probably just one guy somewhere. AA on. Carro enemigo, visto. Oh, I think our fighter killed the AA. Yeah, Leo killed the AA. Contacto visivo con un soldato enemigo. Nice. Bailed. Oh shit, the out comes the plane. Oh, he's going for the blue real the guy. Again. <laughs> Fortress guns trying to shoot me down from G. Oh, he's getting close. Well, now they got AA on A. I cleared F. Believe on enemigo localizzato. Set of F. I beat him twice. Three times. I hit that put is really low. Oh, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. 